So we have a current loop um, as shown um, and it's in a magnetic field um, that is um, inclined at uh, 30 degrees with respect to the uh, magnetic moment of the of the loop. Um, the loop is circular, has a radius r um, equal to one meter. And so first of all we want to find the magnetic moment mu. Second of all we want to find the torque. Um, so to find the magnetic moment that's simply the current times the area times the number of loops. We have 50 loops here and so that's 5 amps, that's the current, um, times the area pi r squared pi times 1 meter squared times the number of loops 50. That works out to um, 785 uh, amp meters squared for mu. Um, to find tau now, tau is the torque is the magnetic moment times b times the sine of the angle in between them. So that's um, 785 uh, amp meters squared times a quarter of a tesla. That's the value for uh, b times the sine of 30 degrees which is one half. Um, and so that works out to be um, 98.2 um, newton meters for the torque. Uh, if theta is increased uh, from 30 degrees to 90 degrees, then um, the torque will increase to its maximum value. The sine of 90 is as large as uh, sine will get, 1. Um, and it will increase from 98.2 to 2 times that value. Um, if theta increases to 120 degrees, um, the uh, value of the torque will be somewhat smaller, but still will be in a uh, such a direction as to align mu and b.